Roundhouse kick. A washi giddy is a variation of my giddy and is a comparatively new technique. One of the advantages of this kick is that you can attack your opponent from the side by surprise and can change the distance with your hips. Effective use of this technique will generate great power due to the rotational force of the hips and the spring of the knee and hip joints. In actual kumite practice, you bend your knee as if to strike your opponent with the top of your knee. This protects you from being attacked by your opponent. You extend your back leg and thrust your hips forward in the same manner as for my giddy. You should plant the bottom of your pivot foot as though it were stuck to the floor and never raise it. Shift your center of gravity forward off of your pivoting leg. Don't forget to bend your pivot leg and be sure not to open your body too much. Now let's take a look at the decisive point of the kick from a bent knee position. You use the spring of the knee without changing its position. If you lower your knee, this will cause unnecessary motion and your attack will be delayed. Roundhouse kick with front kick. Taking a gyakugamae, opposite stance, you draw out your opponent's attack and then, switching your legs, you execute a counterattack, being sure to be far enough away so that he can't attack. This Joda Mawashi Gedi is effective when the distance is slightly larger than for Kizami Mai Gedi, front kick with the front leg. Notice that you draw your front leg back an additional foot's length more than for Kizami Maigiri. The basic points to keep in mind are the same as for Kirikai no Kizami Maigiri. The most important point is that when you switch your legs, you must be sure to immediately shift your center of gravity to your pivoting foot. 
When switching legs, be careful not to lean backwards or move your center of gravity over your heel. Note well the differences in leg movements as the distance changes. This is true not only for this technique, but for techniques in general, and we hope that this videotape will teach you to prepare yourself for a counterattack immediately after kicking, and to assume an attacking stance. Upper roundhouse kick from front kick feint. In this technique, you feign a Maigeti attack to your opponent to draw him into a Gaydan Barai, lower block position. You then execute a roundhouse kick to his upper body when the opening appears. There are two ways of fainting. For the first, you execute a small Maigeti, and for the second, you draw out your opponent by executing Hizageti knee kick. The important point is that you must completely draw out your opponent with your feint.
When you change your technique from a front kick to a roundhouse kick, it's important to execute the kick naturally without pulling or lowering your knee. Execute three consecutive movements, that is, a front kick, roundhouse kick, and rear roundhouse kick. The purpose of this practice is to learn to allocate power properly in order to make a smooth transition from one technique to another, and also to train the pivoting foot to develop a sense of balance. ひとつ人格完成に努めること。ひとつ誠の道を守ること。ひとつ努力の精神を養うこと。ひとつ礼儀を重んずること。ひとつ血気の湯を戒めること。ひとつ血気の湯を戒めること。ひとつ血気の